<laughs> oh, that was a bit of a harder fall than I was expecting. You see why? That's all right. See all this? The ground is wet. It's saturated. That's because it's one of my favorite times of year. It's spring. It's almost time for all the amphibians to start migrating. We've been getting some warmer weather. Today it's up in the 40s. That's pretty good for this time of year. And we got some warm rain in the forecast. So I'm hoping that if we get just the right conditions, it's going to be some amphibians out on the road. So that's going to be happening in the next couple days. But until then, I got some clips from last year I never had the chance to post. So let's do it. Get down and dirty. Let's go find some amphibians. Woo! All right, species number one, the wood frog. This guy right here. Wood frogs are one of the first species to emerge from hibernation every year. But they're not alone. Where I'm herping, we also commonly see spring peepers, spotted salamanders, eastern newts, and redback salamanders. Occasionally, we see some of the rarer amphibians, like four-toed salamanders, some of those big, fat, red salamanders. There are other species around too, but they're not nearly as common. So here's the big question. Why are all these guys coming out of the ground and moving across the roads? The answer to that is pretty simple, actually. They're migrating to the breeding grounds so they can go and make more little baby amphibians. The problem is, a lot of times these little guys get hit by cars when they're crossing the roads. Most of the time it's not the driver's fault. They're small animals, they're close to the ground, and people just don't see them. But it truly is a tragedy when this happens because not only do the parents die, but they lose the opportunity to breed and they won't be able to make any babies. This can have devastating effects on our local amphibian populations and it really is a serious problem. So, what can you do to help? Well, first off, drive carefully, especially on warm, rainy spring nights. There will be wildlife out in the road. Drive slow, keep your lights on, and really look at the road. Try to avoid running over anything that looks like it could possibly be wildlife. Now, an even more powerful thing that you can do to help out is to get out of the car and move these little guys across the road. Make sure you move them off the road in the same direction that they were already headed. Otherwise, they're just going to turn around and keep wandering back out onto the road. <laughs> Helping amphibians across the road is the best way to ensure that they make it safely to the breeding pools where they can breed and make tons of little baby amphibians to keep the environment healthy and for herpers like us to enjoy for generations to come. Just remember, your safety comes first, so be careful out there on the roads. Now that we got all that covered, let's take a look at some breeding action and appreciate and enjoy the lives that we helped save. <laughs> One of the first things that you'll notice is that some of these salamanders are swimming and dancing their way to the surface of the water, poking their heads out, and then swimming all the way back down to the bottom. This is interesting behavior and can make for some spectacular photos if you time it just right. I'll explain why these salamanders are doing this movement in just a second, but first, Look closely at the bottom of the pool. Do you see all those little white dots? Those are actually sperm deposits called spermatophores that the male spotted salamanders deposited on the bottom. Now is where they start doing that amazing little dance. Basically, the males deposit their genetic material on the bottom of the pool and then they squirm, flex, and dance around while they're waiting for a female to come along. If a female comes along and likes what she sees, she'll simply swim over the spermatophores, the little sperm deposits on the bottom, and absorb it up into her reproductive organs. This will fertilize her eggs and enable her to make many more baby spotted salamanders.
there's one more thing I want to explain to you guys in this video. Most of the videos that I've been showing you guys are relatively quiet. And sometimes the pools are very quiet, but most of the time the frog choruses are very loud. Definitely loud. <laughs> this next clip that I want to show you guys is what thousands of frogs sound like. Fair warning, it's really loud. <laughs> Okay, I'm sure you're sick of that noise by now. But one more thing to note about these little guys is that if you hear them calling, they're definitely breeding not far from where you're standing. So if you're driving and hear these little guys calling, keep your eyes peeled. There could be amphibians in the road right in front of you and they need your help to cross the road safely. So with that guys, thanks for watching. Like comment, subscribe, and share this video. And as always, remember to live your dreams and follow your passion. Peace and love, everyone. Happy herping.